Ever wondered what happens when humans and leopard seals cross paths in the wild? Brace yourself for the jaw-dropping reality of not one but three intense encounters with these formidable creatures. From the icy waters of Antarctica to unexpected clashes in warmer territories, witness the untold stories of survival and ferocity. These real-life incidents expose leopard seals' raw power and unpredictability, shedding light on just how dangerous these creatures can be when the line between the observer and the observed blurs. Get ready to dive into the heart-pounding world where nature's forces take center stage. In the vast expanse of the Antarctic Peninsula, where icy winds sweep across desolate landscapes and the relentless winter casts profound darkness, a dedicated marine biologist named Kirsty Brown found herself immersed in the mysteries of the frigid waters. At 28 years old, Kirsty had already traversed diverse environments, from Greenland's chilling depths to Australia's sun-drenched shores. Her journey led her to the British Antarctic Survey, BAS, where she contributed to the life at the edge, stresses and threats Thresholds, latest research program, an ambitious endeavor aimed at unraveling the secrets of the nearshore Antarctic seabed. Trained in geology and oceanography, Kirsty Brown brought a wealth of scientific knowledge and a contagious enthusiasm to her work. Her journey into the heart of Antarctic research began the previous summer, and her current project focused on the impact of iceberg disturbance on the intricate ecosystems that thrive in the harsh Antarctic environment. With meticulous dedication, Kirsty had nearly completed the initial phase of her project involving the strategic placement of 500 markers to monitor how icebergs interacted with the seabed. Her colleagues at BAS held Kirsty in high regard, describing her as a scientist full of energy and enthusiasm. She was known for her unwavering work ethic and the ability to approach even the most mundane tasks with a smile. In the challenging and isolating conditions of the Antarctic, where resilience and passion were essential, Kirsty stood out as a shining example of dedication to scientific exploration. As part of of the overwintering team at the Rothera Research Station on the Antarctic Peninsula, Kirsty Brown was uniquely positioned to delve into the secrets of this remote and unforgiving land. With its breathtaking beauty and harsh climate, the Antarctic became her workplace and home during the extended winter months. Rothera, a hub for biology, geoscience, and atmospheric science programs, provided the backdrop for Kirsty's scientific pursuits. Amid the frigid waters and icy landscapes, another formidable resident of the Antarctic commanded attention, the leopard seal. As the apex predator of these waters, the leopard seal represented both a subject of scientific curiosity and an element of potential danger. Known for their curiosity, these seals rarely pose a threat unless provoked. Despite their potentially curious nature, BAS divers, including Kirsty, were instructed to avoid working in areas where leopard seals were present. For 30 years, the BAS has researched snorkeling and diving in the Antarctic waters without a similar incident. The risks inherent in Antarctic exploration were well understood, but tragedy would strike in a manner that defied the expectations of seasoned researchers on that cold July day. The usually serene waters where Kirsty Brown had dedicated herself to scientific inquiry would soon become the site of a rare and unfortunate encounter between a scientist and the formidable predator that roamed Antarctica's icy depths. Kirsty and another researcher ventured into the frigid waters near the UK's Rothera Research Station on that fateful day. Though treacherously cold, the air was crisp, and the waters promised to unlock the secrets Kirsty had dedicated herself to uncovering. The leopard seal, usually curious and majestic in these waters, suddenly became an unforeseen threat. As Kirsty and her colleague conducted their routine snorkeling mission to check on scientific equipment, the leopard seal swiftly moved into action, unseen before the attack. Approximately 25 meters from the shore, in a swift and merciless move, she was dragged underwater, plunging into an unimaginable struggle for survival. The shriek of distress reached the ears of a second team on shore, prompting an immediate response. Within moments, a rescue boat sliced through the frigid waters, racing against time to retrieve Kirsty from the clutches of the relentless predator. Miraculously, she was pulled from the water within 10 minutes of the attack, but the scars of the encounter ran deep. The two-person shore cover team, witnessing the incident unfold, acted swiftly to launch a rescue boat. Pulling Kirsty from the water, her colleagues embarked on a desperate attempt to resuscitate her. 
The sudden violence of the encounter left them grappling with the shock and urgency of the situation. The base's doctor and other colleagues joined forces at the research station, dedicating an hour to revive Kirsty. Despite the valiant efforts of her colleagues, who initiated resuscitation attempts in the boat and later received the attention of the station's doctor, Kirsty could not be revived. The leopard seal had inflicted 45 separate lacerations and injuries during the six harrowing minutes she spent, submerged at depths of up to 70 meters. The serene Antarctic waters, once a canvas for scientific exploration, became the haunting backdrop of a tragic underwater struggle. The tragedy sent shockwaves through the Antarctic research community and beyond. Kirsty's promising scientific career, marked by dedication and a thirst for knowledge, was abruptly cut short by the unpredictable nature of the wild. Professor Chris Rapley, the director of BAS, expressed the collective grief, emphasizing Kirsty's vibrancy, dynamism, and commitment to her scientific pursuits. The loss of a colleague and friend reverberated through the close-knit community at Rothera, leaving a void that transcended their scientific endeavors. In the aftermath of this unprecedented event, questions lingered about what led to the fatal encounter. The leopard seal, usually a predator focused on penguins and smaller seals, had disrupted the usual rhythm of scientific exploration. Kirsty's colleagues, who had followed all safety procedures, grappled with the unforeseeable tragedy beneath the icy waters. As the inquiry unfolded, Dr. Ian Boyd, a Scottish zoologist, offered insights into the possible motivations behind the attack. The leopard seal, known for its large size, reaching up to 3.5 meters in length and weighing as much as 600 kilograms, occupies a prominent position as one of Antarctica's top predators. Dr. Boyd proposed three potential scenarios. The seal may have mistaken Kirsty for common prey. She might have inadvertently frightened the seal, triggering a defensive attack, or the most unsettling possibility, that the leopard seal deliberately stalked and killed her in a predatory assault. A coroner's report labeled Kirsty Brown's death as an accidental drowning resulting from a leopard seal attack. The inquiry into the incident affirmed that all safety requirements the British Antarctic Survey set had been met. A crucial precautionary measure dictated that team members avoid entering the water when a leopard seal was nearby. Disturbingly, the animal responsible for the attack had not been spotted before the onslaught, adding a layer of unpredictability to the tragic event. The rarity of leopard seal attacks added to the mystique surrounding Kirsty's tragic encounter. While such incidents are exceptionally rare, Dr. Boyd issued a cautionary note. The increased human activity in Antarctica driven by scientific exploration, could elevate the risk of encounters between humans and these formidable predators. With its massive jaws lined with one-inch teeth, the leopard seal occupies an ecological niche akin to that of the polar bear in the Arctic. While polar bears roam on land, leopard seals are adept hunters in the water, primarily preying on penguins and other seals. Killer whales stand as their sole known predators, emphasizing their status as apex predators in the Antarctic marine ecosystem. Shrouded in relative mystery despite their top-tier status in the Antarctic food chain, leopard seals exhibit inquisitive behavior. Divers are cautioned not to become objects of curiosity, as this inquisitiveness may be linked to sizing up humans as potential prey. With the increasing number of people visiting Antarctica annually and engaging in activities like diving, the frequency of human-seal interactions rises, providing seals with more opportunities to assess whether humans are potential prey. The tragic death of marine biologist Kirsty Brown has cast a shadow over Antarctica, marking what is believed to be the first human fatality caused by a leopard seal. As the Antarctic research community grapples with this unprecedented loss, scientists express growing concern about potential future seal attacks amidst the increasing human presence in the region. Kirsty Brown's fate echoed a history of encounters between humans and leopard seals, notably during Ernest Shackleton's 1914-17 Transantarctic Expedition. A member named Thomas Ord Lees faced a chase across sea ice by a leopard seal, narrowly escaping with the aid of a companion. In 1985, Scottish explorer Gareth Wood experienced a leopard seal attack, surviving with bites to the leg as fellow expedition members intervened. As human activities in Antarctica evolve, encounters with leopard seals, once rare, become a potential concern. Attacks on inflatable boats, necessitating protective measures, underscore the delicate balance between scientific exploration and the inherent risks of engaging with the wild in this frozen frontier. Kirsty Brown's tragic end serves as a point poignant reminder of the untamed nature of Antarctica, where scientific curiosity intertwines with the unpredictable behaviors of its inhabitants.
Off the enchanting coast of South Africa's False Bay, where the boundless expanse of the Atlantic Ocean embraces the rugged terrain, a compelling narrative unfolded in September 2021. This idyllic water stretch, celebrated for its rich marine biodiversity, set the stage for a gripping encounter involving three resilient men and a formidable protagonist, the leopard seal. Cradled between the majestic Spaniard Rock and Caravan Reef, False Bay is a sanctuary for many marine species, beckoning spear fishermen eager to explore the treasures beneath its surface. A significant portion of the bay aligns with the city of Cape Town, encompassing segments of the Table Mountain National Park Marine Protected Area and the entirety of the Helderberg Marine Protected Area. Venturing into this underwater realm were Jerome Peterson, 50, a native of Stellenbosch, Joshua Joubert, 40, hailing from Blueberg Strand, and Cameron Vanething, 24, representing Strand. These individuals, not just adventurers, but seasoned jiu-jitsu instructors and a municipal lifeguard from Cape Town, embarked on a spearfishing expedition over a reef extending more than 400 yards offshore. As they immersed themselves in the azure waters, little did they anticipate that their routine pursuit would escalate into a battle for survival. The typically serene waters of False Bay witnessed an unexpected confrontation between the divers and a relentless assailant, the leopard seal. Renowned for its adeptness as a warm blooded prey hunter, including other seals, this marine predator exerts a formidable presence in the southern hemisphere. These semi-aquatic mammals, renowned for their predatory nature, dedicate their time to sea hunting and land activities such as caring for their young, resting, healing, and molting. Their distinct fin-like feet, facilitating graceful underwater movements, distinguish them from other mammals. With its extensive coastline, South Africa serves as a habitat for resident seals and occasional visitors from distant shores. False Bay, an aquatic gem between the towering Cape Peninsula and the Hottentots Holland Mountains in South Africa's extreme southwest, both boasts a unique topography. Notably, this region boasts the highest concentration of South African marine endemics, serving as a vital breeding area for numerous species. As we delve into this captivating saga, the stage is set amidst the unique geography of False Bay, where the allure of the underwater world collides with the untamed forces of nature, culminating in a tale of survival and resilience against the backdrop of this picturesque marine haven. The three spear fishermen, Jerome Peterson, Joshua Joubert, and Ken Cameron Vanathan ventured about 400 meters offshore, focusing on the reef between Spaniard Rock and Caravan Reef. Little did they anticipate the peril awaiting them beneath the waves. Taking the plunge to the seabed, Jerome became the first target of the seal's aggression. The initial bite to his leg marked the beginning of an ordeal that would test their endurance and resilience. The leopard seal, a creature generally associated with the icy expanses of Antarctica, had ventured into the waters of False Bay, revealing a side not commonly witnessed. Relenting, the seal targeted the divers, breaking their flippers, disarming them of their spear guns, and inflicting severe injuries through bites, puncture wounds, and soft tissue injuries. The struggle for survival unfolded as the divers, now deprived of their primary means of defense, desperately tried to navigate the treacherous waters back to the safety of the shore. For over half an hour, the underwater battleground witnessed a clash of survival instincts, the spear fishermen grappling with the relentless assault of the seal. Bruised, battered, and pushed to their limits, they fought against the odds, drawing upon their years of experience at sea, high fitness levels, and the advanced equipment that accompanied them on their underwater expedition. The attackers' motives remained shrouded in mystery, leaving the victims bewildered by the unexpected aggression. As the struggle neared its end, the exhausted trio managed to reach the shore, their bodies bearing witness to the intensity of the encounter. The once tranquil waters of False Bay had transformed into a battleground, where human resilience clashed with the primal instincts of a formidable predator. The struggle against the relentless assault of the leopard seal left the three men grappling for their lives in the tumultuous waters off False Bay. Jerome Peterson in particular found himself the primary target of the marine predator. As the seal continued its aggressive pursuit, disarming the divers and inflicting severe injuries, the situation escalated into a desperate fight for survival. Alarmed by the commotion, witnesses on the shore swiftly alerted the NSRI Simonstown crew and the Cape Medical Response, CMR. The National Sea Rescue Institute, NSRI, and Cape Medical Response personnel 
responding to the alarm raised by onlookers on the shore, attended to the injured spear fishermen. When they arrived, a sense of relief swept over the rescuers as the divers were already out of the water, out of immediate danger. The NSRI, in coordination with CMR paramedics, promptly attended to the injured men. In the aftermath of the encounter, floating in the sea were remnants of the divers' equipment, a testament to the intensity of the struggle unfolding beneath the waves. Remarkably, amidst the chaos, a slender 5mm wetsuit emerged as a crucial shield. Arguably saving Jerome Peterson from what could have been fatal injuries, this thin layer of protection became a lifeline, a resilient barrier against the powerful onslaught of the leopard seal. The incident underscored these marine predators' unpredictable and formidable nature, prompting a heightened awareness of the risks associated with venturing into their territory. As the divers received medical attention and the remnants of their equipment were recovered, the waters of False Bay retained the echoes of a harrowing encounter, a stark reminder of the delicate balance between man and the wild in the expansive realm of the Southern Ocean. Efforts in coastal areas like the VNA waterfront are underway to manage interactions between seals and humans. The Two Oceans Aquarium Foundation collaborates with boat and property owners to monitor local seals, address entanglement risks, care for injured seals, and provide safe resting areas to ensure seal welfare and human safety. Leopard seals, although not native to the South African coast, occasionally make appearances on its beaches. These Antarctica-based predators, the second most successful in their habitat, exhibit versatile feeding habits as juveniles and apex predators as they mature. Their adaptability for longer ocean journeys distinguishes them as true seals growing up to 600 kg and maintaining an almost constant hunting routine. Their extraordinary ability to dive to great depths without succumbing to decompression sickness sets them apart, allowing them to explore depths exceeding 2 km in search of prey. Nocturnal hunters, these seals feed on bioluminescent fish in shallow waters, adapting their hunting patterns in response to climate change. This riveting tale of survival against the odds invites reflection on the delicate balance between human exploration and the untamed forces of nature. As we delve deeper into the aftermath of this encounter, questions linger about the motivations behind the seal's aggressive behavior and the potential implications for those who venture into the waters of False Bay. The tranquil facade of the bay belies the unseen dangers that lurk beneath, reminding us of the unpredictable nature of the ocean and the courage required to navigate its depths. This area holds historical significance as a crucial juncture where the warm Agulhas Current and the calmer South Atlantic waters converge, marking the western extremity of the inshore Agulhas marine ecoregion. This stunning stretch of coastline, marked by the resilience of these seasoned divers and the ferocity of the leopard seal, raises questions about the balance between human exploration and the inherent dangers that dwell beneath the ocean's surface. The serene False Bay, once a backdrop for routine spearfishing, transforms into a stage where survival takes center stage in the face of unexpected danger. It was a tranquil Sunday morning on the shores of Kaimana Beach in southern Honolulu's Waikiki neighborhood. The gentle waves caressed the sandy expanse as beachgoers reveled in the serene beauty of the Hawaiian landscape. The sun painted the sky with hues of orange and pink, casting a warm glow on the scene. Little did they know that this idyllic setting would soon be the backdrop for a harrowing encounter between a visitor and a protective mother Hawaiian monk seal, Rocky. A mother seal who recently gave birth inhabited the waters of Kaimana Beach with her young pup. The beach, known for its beauty, was a haven for locals and tourists. The clear blue waters held a rich marine life, including the endangered Hawaiian monk seals, a species unique to the islands and protected under state and federal laws. The Hawaiian monk seal, with less than 1,600 estimated remaining in the wild, is a rare and precious sight. Having recently welcomed her pup into the world, Rocky was understandably agitated and distressed when her baby temporarily disappeared. The dilapidated former swimming pool of the nearby Waikiki Natatorium War Memorial added an element of concern to her demeanor. As the day unfolded, unaware swimmers enjoyed the ocean, basking in the beauty of Kaimana Beach. Among them was an unnamed 60-year-old elementary school teacher from California. Oblivious to the subtle signs of agitation in the seals and the commotion on the beach, she ventured into the water, guided by the allure of the serene surroundings. The husband observed the unfolding events by watching and videotaping from their 12th off-floor condominium. The seals, 
initially appearing to return to the beach, changed course and swam toward the unsuspecting swimmer. The footage captured the unfolding drama, showcasing the impending danger that would soon grip the tranquil scene. The woman, a teacher passionate about environmental conservation, had come to appreciate the delicate balance between humanity and nature during her three weeks in Hawaii. Little did she know that this appreciation would soon be tested most unexpectedly and terrifyingly. The incident marked a collision between the human desire to enjoy the beauty of nature and the innate instincts of a protective mother seal. As the woman continued her leisurely swim, unaware of the impending danger, Rocky and her pup altered their course, swimming towards her. The serene atmosphere took a sharp turn as the seals, driven by maternal instinct, perceived the swimmer as a potential threat to their young. The Hawaiian monk seals, typically known for their peaceful existence, exhibited a sudden behavior change. In seconds, the tranquil waters transformed into a battleground where the delicate dance between nature and human intrusion reached a critical juncture. The woman, still captivated by the underwater world, remained oblivious to the heightened tension surrounding her. The seals, closing the gap, moved swiftly through the water, their sleek bodies cutting through the waves with purpose. The commotion on the beach grew louder, but underwater the woman could not discern the urgency in the voices above. Suddenly, in a surge of instinctual defense, Rocky lunged towards the swimmer. The attack was swift, catching the woman off guard. The powerful force of the seal's jaws clamped down, leaving lacerations on the woman's face back and arm. In the underwater struggle, the ocean turned crimson, starkly contrasting to the picturesque scene it had been just moments before. The attack lasted mere seconds, but the impact was profound. Bystanders on the beach, now aware of the unfolding tragedy, screamed futilely to alert the victim. The husband, witnessing the horror from afar, felt a surge of helplessness as the rescue efforts began. Now clutching the seal, the woman faced a desperate battle for survival. The ocean, once a source of serenity, became a realm of chaos and peril. Three rescuers, including one in an outrigger canoe, rushed to her aid. The seals, seemingly undeterred, continued to swim toward the ongoing rescue. The struggle reached its climax as the rescuers managed to bring the injured woman to shore. The crimson water bore witness to the intensity of the underwater struggle, a stark reminder of the untamed forces that lurk beneath the seemingly tranquil surface. The incident, caught on video by witnesses, became a poignant reminder of the unpredictability of wildlife encounters. Despite its allure and beauty, nature can swiftly turn into a realm of danger when boundaries are crossed. The line between admiration and intrusion proved thin, and the unsuspecting swimmer bore the consequences. As the sun began to set on Kaimana Beach, the repercussions of this extraordinary clash between human recreation and the protective instincts of a mother seal reverberated through the Hawaiian community. In the wake of the alarming attack at Kaimana Beach, the incident sent shockwaves through both local communities and wildlife conservation circles. The aftermath unfolded against the backdrop of the fading sunlight, casting a somber tone over the tranquil shores that had witnessed an unexpected clash between humans and nature. As news of the attack spread, the Hawaiian Department of Land and Natural Resources initiated a thorough investigation to ascertain the circumstances leading to the violent encounter. The aftermath of the encounter at Kaimana Beach unfolded, with the woman's husband providing crucial insights into the incident. According to his account to the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources, the woman, with her head submerged in the water and wearing a swim cap, was oblivious to the warning calls from people on the beach. The seal's sudden appearance caught her off guard, and it wasn't until she stood up that she became aware of the commotion around her. During the chaos, with 50 or so people on the beach screaming and waving, the woman, now aware of the urgency, started swimming away from the seals. The husband, watching from their 12 the floor condominium, recounted his anxiety, fearing for his wife's safety as she swam in the proximity of the seals. The harrowing moments have left an indelible mark on both of them. The victim, in her account to the Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources, described the attack as a terrifying experience that reverberated throughout the day. The mental and emotional toll manifested in sleepless nights, with haunting images of the mother seal's mouth intruding every time she closed her eyes. The psychological impact underscored the intensity of the encounter, leaving a lasting impression on the woman. The video footage captured by bystanders became valuable evidence, offering a visual narrative of the intense struggle between the Hawaiian monk seal, Rocky, and the swimmer. The investigation swiftly concluded that the woman had done nothing to provoke the attack. She was blissfully unaware of the seal's presence in the water, immersed in the beauty of the ocean. 
the underwater world, with its vibrant marine life, had suddenly transformed into a battleground where the survival instincts of a mother seal collided with the accidental intrusion of a human swimmer. Following the incident at Kaimana Beach, state officials decided against recommending charges or fines for the woman, respecting her request for anonymity. The focus shifted to understanding the broader context of the situation, acknowledging the inherent challenges of coexisting with Hawaiian monk seals, especially during the delicate period of pup rearing. The victim, a 60-year-old elementary school teacher from California, bore the physical scars of the encounter, lacerations to her face, back, and arm. While the injuries were not life-threatening, the emotional trauma ran deep. The Hawaiian monk seal, Rocky, and her pup, both endangered members of their species, played a central role in this tragic narrative. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the incident raised critical questions about the delicate coexistence between humans and these protected marine mammals. The incident underscored the importance of understanding and respecting the natural behaviors of wildlife, especially in areas where human activities intersect with the habitats of endangered species. The Hawaii Marine Animal Response, in collaboration with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, reiterated the urgency of respecting the seal's space and adhering to guidelines for wildlife observation. The mother seal, Rocky, had recently given birth to a pup on Kaimana Beach, adding a layer of complexity to the interactions between humans and these endangered Injured marine mammals. Officials emphasized mother seals' swift and unpredictable movements in the water, cautioning water enthusiasts to consider alternative areas for their activities when seals with pups are present. The ongoing monitoring of Rocky and her pup aimed to ensure their safety while mitigating potential risks to beachgoers. Officials anticipate these seals will remain in the area for about a month, underscoring the need for continued vigilance during this critical period. Signs and guidance from authorities were essential for maintaining a safe distance from the seals and avoiding confrontations that could escalate into dangerous encounters. The incident prompted a reiteration of the inherent dangers of engaging in in-water activities when monk seal mothers with pups are nearby. Under Hawaii's state and federal laws, intentionally interacting with or provoking a Hawaiian monk seal is a felony, carrying penalties of up to five years in prison and a $50,000 fine. The severity of these consequences reflects the commitment to safeguarding these endangered creatures and preserving the fragile balance of their ecosystems. In the aftermath, authorities reinforced the guidelines for wildlife observation in Hawaii, emphasizing the need for a minimum distance of 150 feet from mother monk seals and their pups. The incident prompted a renewed public awareness of the risks associated with close encounters with wildlife in their natural habitats. The shoreline at Kaimana Beach, where the attack occurred, remained roped off, serving as a reminder of the boundaries that must be respected to ensure the safety of both humans and endangered species. As the waves gently lapped against the shore. The incident left an indelible mark on the consciousness of those who witnessed the clash between a mother's protective instincts and a swimmer's inadvertent intrusion. The story of Kaimana Beach serves as a cautionary tale, urging reflection on the delicate dance between humans and the natural world.